on a gap analysis, we really need to identify the current state. When we can identify the current state of what we're dealing with, that is the first start to the gap analysis. We really want to get to that desired state, but we can't go in there like firemen and just taking care of business. We need to listen to our staff. We need to work with our teammates. We really need to identify the current state. This is where we have two ears, one mouth. We need to listen twice as much and go ahead and talk about what we see. So when we do this gap analysis, we're really trying to get that good feeling of what the current state is. We can now look at the desired state. And this is where we kind of mastermind working with the whole team to identify what is that desired state that we really want in our life, in our business. You can do this on your personal life or your business life. When we identify that desired state of what that looks like when we get there, we now have to take the action items in that gap analysis to really tell us what's gonna bridge that from point A to point B. And remember, it's not always a straight line. 